what is your take on sex tapes these days? I mean, and kind I, of like how it's become really it's, a thing. You know, I like think it's the business. mystery. I think it's like the next layer of like uh, TMZ style life of just knowing like everyone just wants the behind the scenes, the behind the scenes, behind the scenes. And, and that's just the behind the scenes. And I think people also like the voyeuristic side of it where it's like, oh, we didn't mean for this to get out, but we were just filming it for ourselves. Like, oh, that's super hot. You know, there's so many different reasons why somebody would be intrigued. Did you see somebody who isn't a professional? Um but is making a tape. How does it look? I mean, was, did she look good naked? You've never seen her boobs. Like, oh my God, we get to see her boobs. You know, I mean, like, if Tom Brady and Gazelle released a sex tape, that thing would sell more than any, because they're just beautiful people. And I would love to see them have sex with each other. So I get it. But you know those people get paid, right? Oh, no, I know exactly how it works. You have to sign paperwork. Like, you have to no sign paperwork. So hello world out there who thinks these... Leaked. But it's not leaked. They have to sign 2257 paperwork for the government. It's the law. You can't just shoot people having sex and not do IDs. And so just so you all know, your fantasies are foiled. But it's such a desperate attempt. And when, it, when it's funny, it's like when, example, Rob Kardashian. Remember years ago, Rob Kardashian and I hung out a bit. And when he was asked, he told me he couldn't admit it. And I was like, well, we can't hang out anymore. And he's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, your sister did a porn and that's why she's popular. Like, how can you not want to talk to me? What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, it's just weird how people put a level on it. Like, I guess if it leaks out by accident and you sign the paperwork in private and get a bigger check than I do, it's okay. <laughs> but if you're a willing participant of the porn community, you should be shunned upon. Like, How close were you and Rob Kardashian? You know, we've just started talking again about six months ago. I like to touch base with them because there's a lot of people, uh, a lot of young people in this world that I have a connection with that I some sort of just stay on top of their headspace. I wouldn't consider myself a professional mentor, but I would definitely say that I try to be a positive light and I understand that people go through very dark things and there's a lot of pressure on people and sometimes something happens and you just want to reach out to them and say, hey, how are you feeling about all this? Like what's going on in your head right now? So we stay in touch and I'm always, you know, checking in on him. And right now I'm going to be going back to LA for about a month. So I'm hoping that he and I can really get in the gym together because we used to work out together and try and get him back in shape because I know that'll make him feel great. I mean, what do you think about his weight gain? Like that, that was really crazy looking, you know, because people gain weight all the time, but he gained a lot of weight. Yeah, but imagine the pressure that he's under being involved with a family that's that watched, you know, and it's not really, there's no spotlight really on him, but yet there's enough spotlight on him that he can't have some normalcy doing something else. So that's pressure, you know, and I just think that's, that's an example of like, hey, no one in his family has noticed that that's out of control and that, you know, he probably just needs just some help or some distance or something it's that's just another cry for help sure sure so you think he's going to be able to turn it around knowing him we gotta hope so how did he feel about his sister's sex tape because that's really what did make that family famous you know we never really talked about it so i don't know you know i mean that's an interesting thing i mean i i think it's probably easier for a family to accept when there's one and not 500 <laughs> 